everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video was supposed to be a part of the Jawbreaker palette video, but one, that video was already way too long for my liking, and two, I wanted to give you more thorough information on these two products because surprisingly, I had some issues with them. I didn't just wanna bypass them and quickly tell you about them because I'm rushing through the video. So I decided to pull them apart to give you more thorough information on these products and the issues that I had with them. So the two products that we will be talking about in this video is the Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet and the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Strawberry Crush. They both look gorgeous, they both feel amazing, but they didn't deliver as good as I thought they would. So I'm just gonna give you a little product detail on the Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet. By the way, I'm obsessed with the packaging. I love the actual color of the Supreme Frost. I love the branding all over it. This is just very unique and it feels very luxurious. So I paid $32 for this product and it's currently sold out online. So it says, introducing our new intense wet pearl diamond wet Supreme Frost from the Jawbreaker collection. This is a baked gel hybrid that has more intense metallic finish than our original skin frost. Extreme payoff. So that is the product detail on that one. Next we have Strawberry Crush and Strawberry Crush retails for $18. Again, I love the packaging. I love the branding all over it. Overall, 10 out of 10 for packaging on both of these. So it's described as a neon strawberry red. And I believe this is exclusive to the Jawbreaker collection. I swatched all three Supreme Frost of the Jawbreaker collection at the Morphe store. And um, I wish I could play all the clips so that you could hear what I'm saying, but I will get copyrighted because of the loud music. So I am gonna show you the clip of me swatching them at the Morphe store and kind of voice over what I'm saying at the store. As you can see here, Candy Apple Drip swatches like a dream. I wish I could say that for the other two. This one is so smooth and buttery, but the color is very pretty, but not wearable for me. Diamond Wet Supreme Frost, which is the one that I brought home, <laughs> is the prettiest, most wearable one for me, but the texture is very chunky. That's what I felt at the store at least. Caramel Kiss is so chunky and scratchy. It was my least favorite of them all in texture. I love the color. It's almost like there's no binding agent to keep it all together, so it goes everywhere. And I bet it'd be like very fall out of You can feel the glitter. Yeah. This one not so much, and this one is really smooth. Ooh. That has a magnetic closure. I love that. Well, I only got one of the Supreme Frost because the other two were not gonna work out for me. Um, but my favorite one to swatch was the green one. It was so smooth and buttery. I wish that's how Diamond Wet felt, but I'll tell you about Diamond Wet in a little bit. If you have a Morphe store near you, definitely go swatch these because they all have a different texture. So I'm just gonna go in with my A23 brush and I'm just gonna... Ooh, it doesn't look like it's picking up anything on the brush. And I can already tell, I don't like it. You guys, it's barely picking up anything on the brush. Mm, looks like straight up glitter. This doesn't look like a highlight. It almost looks like, is this a topper? There's a lot of kickback, a lot of fallout. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not something that I would wear just because it looks, the glitter makes it look patchy. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Now to try these two once again. It definitely works better wet, but it's still way too chunky for me. No ma'am, no ma'am. Don't like this. And the first day of me testing out Strawberry Crush, my camera decided to cut off and stop recording. I didn't notice, so I don't have my immediate first impressions of Strawberry Crush and how it's swatched. But girl, let me tell you, it swatched so bad. I was in shock. Seriously, I've heard so many people speak so good of these products that I was seriously surprised to 
not like them myself. But my first impression was that the formula of this is very patchy and not opaque enough for my liking. Um, so if you have dark lips, it's not going to cover them for you or change them color. So I would suggest to go in with a lip liner prior and fill in your lips and then go in with this one. And it was also kind of drying and I've never experienced that before. Um, I do the same thing with every single one of my looks. Whether I'm using a cream lipstick or a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick, a velvet, it doesn't matter. I always do the same thing and I never have this issue. But it was very drying and the more I tried layering it on, the patchier it would get. But you'll see that in the demo. I thought I was going to love this formula because it feels so lightweight as it's applying, but as it's drying, you can see the patchiness and you could tell it's not opaque enough to cover dark lips. Probably just a me issue, but I've never had that issue before. Okay, liquid lipstick. It's very pretty, but it's not pigmented enough to like completely change the color of my lips. Okay, I think I'm learning how this formula works. In person, it looks really patchy. Especially when I try to fill it in. Definitely better than yesterday, but you can see the difference between my bottom lip and my top lip. Do you see right here? And the more I try to fix it, the thicker it gets and the more uncomfortable it gets, even though it's a very thin formula. Does he have lip liners? Maybe he does. But I feel like a lip liner will really help this out in the coverage. This is just patchy. The bottom lip looks really good, but, you know, better than yesterday. But the top lip, I know if I keep going, it's just going to end up like a mess like yesterday. So I'm not even going to try. <laughs> now I want to try the Diamond Wet Supreme Frost with an actual fan brush. It's just glitter goes everywhere and I really hate that. Yeah, this is more of a topper, you guys. This isn't. I don't like this as a highlight. Like if you put something smooth and maybe this over it, it'll look, it'll just make it shine a little bit more. But it's not like even that good of a shine. At least for me, this isn't my type of highlight. I thought I was gonna love this Velour liquid lipstick. I love the strawberry shade. The packaging is really cute. The formula is very thin, but it's not opaque enough to cover my lips. And as soon as I start trying to layer it up it just it gets chunky at least with this shade it wasn't my cup of tea i don't really care too much for these two products they feel very luxurious and expensive but they're just you know they're just not my cup of tea you guys i was very sad that i didn't enjoy these as much as i thought i would but thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time bye